Hello, this is Kirill from forexboat.com and welcome to the fourth tutorial in our series of tutorials on testing and optimization in MetaTrader 4. Last time we talked about backtesting and we conducted our very own first backtest in the MetaTrader 4 trading platform. Today we're going to discuss expert properties. As you can see here, I have the MetaTrader 4 platform open in front of me. At the bottom, I have the tester uh, strategy tester window open. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to just select any expert advisor uh, of the available ones and we'll just click this button up here, uh, expert properties. So these are the expert properties, the expert properties uh, settings window and it has three tabs. Uh, right away I'll mention that we won't be talking about the optimization tab today, we'll be talking about optimization parameters in one of the future tutorials in this course. Um, today we're going to be talking about these two tabs. In the testing tab, uh, you can see some some controls which are responsible for uh, the overall test parameters. So they're not specific to the expert advisor. You'll see these controls. Uh, you'll see that these controls are the same uh, regardless of which expert advisor you're testing. And uh, here you can uh, set the starting deposit, which means the balance on your account at the start of the test. Uh, the account currency and usually people set um, the account currency to match the currency on their actual real live trading account and uh, you can also set which kind of positions you you want your forex robot to be able to open so regardless of the algorithm which is built into your trading system you can restrict the forex robot from opening uh, say sell orders and that way if you choose long only the a trading strategy will be restricted to opening only buy orders or uh, um, on the other hand you can um, restrict it to opening only sell orders by selecting short only. Uh, normally um, this is rarely used and people tend to uh, stick to both long and short but in some circum circumstances this um, control might be might come in handy so it's good to know that it's there. So we'll leave this at long and short. Um, once again, we won't be talking about optimization in this tutorial, so we'll skip uh, this section over here. And now we'll go to the inputs. And the inputs is the main um, tab of the expert properties window. Uh, what these inputs uh, mean is um, certain controls that uh, you as a trader can change or to adjust the behavior of the uh, Forex robot that your testing, your back testing, and these are the same controls that you will see when you launch an expert advisor on your chart to actually trade. You will see these same controls, and um, therefore it it kind of matches up. So uh, depending on your back test, depending on the settings that you set here, and if you're happy with them, then you can set the same settings in your real uh, when you're trading your real account with that uh, expert advisor. And um, why would you want to adjust uh, the behavior of the expert advisor? Well, because first of all, you might want to have different uh, presets for different financial instruments or periods, uh, meaning time frames. And uh, that, that is essential because uh, different uh, financial instruments behave differently and therefore expert advisors would trade them differently. Also, with time, you might need to change the settings of your expert advisor or you might uh, have different preferences. For example, here uh, you can see a lots parameter and a maximum risk parameter, which are responsible for the amount of money that the expert advisor trades. So um, therefore, you uh, could adjust this to cater for your uh, risk averseness, your, your specific risk averseness. This different people would have different levels of risk tolerance. I've prepared a short presentation on expert properties. Let's quickly have a look at that. So you have an expert advisor which you want to conduct a back test for. Usually the expert advisor comes with a, a user guide or an instruction manual if, if it's a purchased expert advisor. Uh, or if it's something that you developed yourself, then you will know already what uh, the expert properties mean. That is very handy because uh, based on the instruction manual or your intrinsic knowledge of the expert advisor, you can knowingly set these expert properties to certain uh, values and you will either get unprofitable results like these two or uh, if you set the parameters correctly, if you pick the right parameters, you can get profitable results. And that's uh, essentially what we're aiming for. In this course, we'll assume that we have an expert advisor and um, that we have knowledge of the uh, parameters that we need to set. And we'll be aiming to uh, 
uh, optimize or find the right parameters that will give us profitable results that and therefore that will warrant using these expert advisors on our demo accounts or even hypothetically real accounts for trading. Of course, with uh, these prepackaged expert advisors, uh, moving average and MACD sample, it's uh, uh, quite difficult to get profitable results. Um, but uh, throughout this course, we will be working with a proprietary algorithmic trading system, which I will introduce to you in the next section of the course. With that system, we will uh, look for profitable results and hopefully we'll find them. Uh, so let's just go ahead and um, look at this chart. This is the chart we got after our back test in the previous tutorial uh, for the moving average indicator expert advisor. And now if we uh, change uh, some of the settings here, the chart should change. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly have a look at that. So if we change the moving period to 24, uh, moving shift um, to zero, for example, lots to 0.5 and then we launch the expert advisor now you'll notice that the chart looks different and even though it's still not profitable that proves the point that we do have control over how uh, the trades are conducted and when the expert advisor enters the market and with what uh, volume of currency so that's basically the essence of uh, what expert properties are i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you are watching on YouTube, do subscribe to the channel so you can get updated of uh, new free tutorials that I post. I look forward to seeing you at the next tutorial. Until then, happy trading.